what is going on everyone? The next clip you're gonna see is me negotiating a deal with Dr. John. Hope you guys enjoy. I kinda like you being a neighbor because you're like the distance which is like close so we can come and see each other but we're not gonna interfere with each other. But um yeah. I was thinking you're making a really badass cave in your place, right? Yep. And you must have like a whole load of cobblestone in a chest somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. And you must need, like, a whole load of diamonds for tools to dig out things, right? Yep. <laughs> so I'm, th I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking, since I don't really need tools to place blocks, and I kind of need a whole load of cobblestone to finish off this wall and stuff, is there any chance we can do a deal? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So how many, I'm, I'm not really good at coming up with values or anything, but how many cobblestones do you think should be, like, how many stacks do you think should be per diamond? I have no clue. You don't know either? No. I mean, <laughs> I have a bunch of cobblestone, like three chestfuls. Are we talking double chests? Yeah. Three double chests, wow. Do you have any um, raw stone, or is it all cobblestone? It's all cobblestone. Okay. Let me see. If I offer... Hmm. How about ten diamonds for the three chests? Okay. That's the deal? Yeah. Okay, nice. I'll come and... um. If you can show me where the chests are, I'll come and take them so you don't have to deal with them or anything. I'm going to see if I can go through the nether with this horse. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. You have to get off it and then get back on. And, like, you have to push it through. Yeah, there you go. The horse just went through. All right, nice. So I'm, I'm linked up with the nether hub and everything right now. Cool. Uh, do you want me to give you the payment of nine diamonds now, or, or? Um, not now. Maybe in a little bit. All right, nice. Hey, so listen, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you get onto the DealScap server? Um, I just got really active on the PvP server. Right. And then, uh, Reed just liked what I did, and. Because I made, like, these really big farms. Yeah. And they were, like, all automatic and stuff. I'm, I'm just going to cut through here. It's faster. <laughs> so you made some really nice automatic farms on the PvP server, did you? Yeah. And uh, and so Reed just offered you a position in Deals Gap? Well, no, I applied, and then he's like, you got moderator and you got... um. You got accepted into a deals gap. Nice. So, do you have any idea of, um, oh, well, what I should be asking is that, uh, what drew you towards YouTube? Did you, like, is this what made you want to make YouTube videos? Well, I made PvP, um, videos before. Oh, right, yeah, okay. And I just wanted to do something else in PvP. And so, so when you go this to was the it. server. And I it's like y'all were recording stuff, so why not show off my cool stuff? Yeah man. You got some really nice place. Like this cave is wow. I can't wait to see how it's gonna look like once you once you do some work on it and Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's epic. Let me let me let me show you them. Oh, hang on. So you have that place up there and a bridge that goes right across to that place over there. Yeah. And I swear, I came onto the server and, like, I was on the second, I think it was the second day that the server was up. And I, I went exploring around and I found your place. This is when I left the sign. And you yeah. had, like, 90% of the stuff you have out here. Like, you built all these things in, like, two days. I was so impressed. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so 
is the chest to the cobblestone in this direction? It's up at the top. Oh, like uh, gotta... one of the top houses. Yeah, I just gotta get the horse up here. Okay, I'm gonna go up this dirt staircase. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll put ten diamonds into it. Okay. There we go. Nice, this is gonna help me so much. Oh, you got more up here. Oh, this is this is an automatic furnace. Yeah. Nice. Making stone and glass. That's pretty cool. All right, so um, which of these chests can I take from? Um, pretty much all of them. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I have a full inventory, so I'm gonna have to do. I can't pick them up right now. I'm going to have to come back with my horse and just do... I know the way to and from our house is pretty well, so I can just do it in the overworld and uh, and just make runs with this cobble. So is there yeah. any... um Like, how much of this cobble do you want me to leave? We'll go off that basis. Um, Maybe, like, three stacks or something. Three stacks? That's all you need? Yeah, because I'm going to keep pushing that wall back so i'll get more too oh nice yeah maybe maybe if i need any more i could organize a future deal yeah all right cool man well thanks for being in my episode i'll um start making my way back to my house and thanks for uh well it's a pleasure doing business with you <laughs> Mhm. Mm all right man see you later all right guys welcome back to the present moment how do you like this mound it's like a like a staircase up to my portal, but it's you can go in any direction. It's pretty cool. And I have these paths going out at like 90 degrees from each other. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a little bit of an issue with this though. The lighting on it isn't too good. Like over here we have some dark areas and over here we have a dark area. So I may have to make some sort of street lamps or something some like associate some lighting with the footpath because eventually like all of these torches are going to be removed from buildings so i'm gonna to have to do something sooner or later so this tunnel needs upgrading and uh i'm not sure how i'm going to do this if i'm going to do a, a rail uh it's hard to decide i think you know, with a new feature of horses, I think people are going to be using horses to travel through the nether because they're pretty fast. So I may not do a rail, and I may just have um, an ice thing off the side where you can jump and run. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be making over this tunnel. Wait, no, that's, that's Dodd's tunnel. Oops. I'm going to be making over this tunnel, and uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a cinematic effect if I can. Let's see if I can get myself positioned for this. So, hang on a second. Uh, how should I do this? I'll just go like this. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good roof if you ask me. I'm planning to put some lighting in later on this middle strip, like a like a glowstone block every like ten blocks or something. Maybe a um, redstone lamp even. But uh, that's a pretty good roof, if you ask me. The sides? I'm not sure what to do with the sides. Uh, Dr. John extended his tunnel to the left a little bit, so I can replace this one, but can't replace the second one. So it's not, it's not that big of a problem, really. I just have to... Uh, I can't extend that way, that's all. But I probably won't anyway. Um, the one thing I'm worried about is, is like, can a horse fit through a two and a half bl block gap? 
that might be a little bit tricky. Anyway, I'm out of supplies. I've got one stack of stone and a little bit of this, but I really do need a whole lot more to finish this off. So I'm going to do a few runs to Dr. John's house and pick up some of the stone that I bought from him. Oh, you got a missing ice block in Dr. John's portal. I might be able to replace it if I have any in my chest. Wow! So D6, D6, D6 is over here molesting a pony. <laughs> anyway, I found this chest right outside my portal. Hey Dean, I thought you could do with one of these. The almighty Dez. Alright, unnecessary third sign. Brilliant, hang on, let me let me try to get this, this. Okay, see if he says anything. Uh oh, okay, smelly face. <laughs> Alright, um he gave me three diamond blocks plus an ender chest. So that is really cool of him. I will put this down right here. And I don't actually know where this guy lives. So and it's just probably pretty good to keep valuable things in like the diamonds. So I'm going to put that in straight away. I don't know where this uh Des lives to be honest. So I, but I I don't know, I might pay him back with something special. I don't know what to do at the moment, but I'll think of something. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to smelt up some stone that I have here. I I have some coal in here, yeah, I do. What happened was this weird thing happened. I was smelting, like I've already smelt up this cobblestone. Oh, by the way, this is cobblestone from, uh, from, what's his name? Dr. John. That's where I got it from. And I've already smelted this up, but there was some sort of rollback or something because I got all my coal back and I also got a whole load of, like, this was still in the chest, which I had already taken out of, so it's really weird. Um, hang on a second, let me if I can get this to happen again. He really wanted, you might have seen something in the chat just then, but he really wanted to do something. Is that a skeleton? No. Is he going to say something? Oh, come on. That's the second time I've tried to do that. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do today is lay out the structural, well, kind of the structural design of the house that I want to build here. So, I'm really not sure about that hill either. <laughs> but let's focus on the house. Oh, there's a lot of zombies being spawned. There's a zombie spawner down here that's going like crazy. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have a sort of house that's in uh, in a C shape. So I want it to be fairly large. When I say fairly large, I mean pretty damn large. So how much is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm so sorry, you just have to see that. <laughs> Then I'll do 13 on this. If I've counted correctly, that's 13. Uh, let me see. I might be able to do like 23 or something. Hmm. Yeah, I might just move this a little bit long. So. Probably there. Then I'll do 13 across again. And then uh, I'm going to go. What's going to happen is that this is going to be like a walk in area and there's going to be some nice. Maybe a quartz fountain. Maybe that. It's going to be a nice walk in area and then the, the whole thing's going to go like all around. It's going to be some really nice architecture in it, I hope. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to finish up a floor plan for this and we can get started on like, the roof. Alright, so what do you think? Do you think it's too wide? Hmm. I think... I think if I extend that wall a little bit further that way and that wall a little bit further that way, that might fix the problem. I think that's slightly better. 
But I think I might move this wall forward because that kind of seems a little bit short. This is a little bit more longer. You can see where the wall used to be. So yeah. All right, that seems like pretty cool dimensions. I always think the best part, like the most important part about a house is like how big it's gonna be in every direction, like the dimensions. And I think, I think this is pretty good. Like with that footpath, I was really kind of annoying about it. Now I want it to be really t like tall because it's surrounded by a huge wall and I don't want it to look like a, a small thing. So let me see, how many blocks did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six blocks? Yeah, it is. Alright, so I'm going to do six blocks pillars in all of these corners and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I have some really cool plans with this house and I think it has a lot of potential. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fiddle around with some designs in creative mode. And hopefully I'll be able to show you some cool stuff next episode. Um, so as far as like the dimensions, I think it's pretty good. And I was also thinking of extending this part, this central part out, like having kind of a, it wouldn't be exactly diagonal, but I, I don't even have a stone. Oh, there we go. Having like a bulge that comes out here. And then you have, that's your entrance. And this is going to be like a kind of courtyard sort of thing. And I'll have some nice fountains. I really want to incorporate some courts into this. Oh, there's so many just different ideas going into this at once. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to finish up this episode here. And I'm going to continue working on this in creative mode. And hopefully get some textures as I was saying and I will probably do some work on the wall as well since the wall is so boring and I, I shouldn't really film it anyway thanks so much to Desmond for uh, the ender chest that I have there I now all of my things are safe now so that's really cool of him and uh, until then guys see you next time